It smells like vanilla cupcakes. Or like vanilla cake batter. Oh my god. Stop. Just stop. What is up my loves? Welcome back to my channel. It's Yara. I'm back with another video. Um, I haven't posted. Sorry if you hear my dog. She is just going wild right now. Harassing the neighbors. But anyways, like I said, I haven't posted a video in about two or three weeks. And I apologize for that. Um, I've just been in a filming funk. I haven't been able to just get myself up to like film videos. So I apologize for that, but thank you to all my new subscribers. So um, I've been away on vacation. My birthday was February 18th and I am working on a birthday slash Miami vlog. So that will be up soon. So stay tuned for that and I hope you guys like it. But for today, I'm going to do a collective beauty haul makeup all drugstore. This is the bag right here. I have a whole bunch of stuff. I've been collecting it for about two months I would say so it's not all just in one buy so let's get to the haul say hi monkey if she could jump on my lap right now from that bed she would hi. you want to sniff my ear oh no let's not lick the makeup you can do that all right so first stop first things first I'm just gonna pull out these lashes because this is like the biggest thing in my bag right now so i got the new i Laura times beauty vlogger lashes of course first things first my girl nicole guerrero like if you don't watch her on youtube you're bugging and you need to go watch her chill so i got the nicole guerrero lashes 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 these are the 143s and this is what they look like pretty dramatic um to be honest these are actually i have not worn them yet warning disclaimer i haven't worn them yet but by the look at them they're super dramatic and i'm a little bit scared i do like the other two better right now but i think once i you know play around with them and do like a dramatic look i will definitely try these out then I got the Crazy Glam and this is by Crazy Ray Ray. I don't watch her on YouTube so I don't I don't know who she is honestly sorry but I got these super nice I love these they're like more dramatic natural lashes I guess whatever and these are the more the more natural ones these are the Nikki Felipe. I'm so sorry. These are the Midnight Meow lashes and they're so nice. They flare out towards the ends. Very cat eye-ish. Like these are like everyday lashes for me. I don't really wear lashes much but I want to get into them more. So those are the lashes that I got. Moving on to other lashes. If I haven't said this already, I'm sorry. These There are a lot of things that I have used already. Some things that are already open. You know, I had to get it on and pop in for my... I was actually trying to film this before my vacation. But like I said, I just... I could not be bothered, okay? So, I got these Christina lashes. These are the... Wisp. Do they have a number? Uh, no. The Christina... 150... 100... 100% human hair black wisp lashes. I am obsessed with these. I brought two pair with me to Florida and they cannot be found. You know why? Because I fucking lost them. Go me. I don't know where they are. So they came in a pack of I think six. So I have four packs left here. I'll try to take care of these a little bit better. Oops. Next, this has been used and abused. Like this palette, oh my God. this palette is so fucking good. Y'all don't even understand. If you're new to makeup and you just want to play around with makeup and you don't know what to buy, according when it comes to like eyeshadows, this palette, the Nude Awakening palette by Wet and Wild, is fucking wild. Okay, like I love this palette so much. 
Um, if you follow me on my beauty page on Instagram, I did do a look with this. I will try to post a picture or leave my Instagram name down below so you guys can see that picture. So this is what, oops, sorry, it's a little dusty. This is what the palette looks like. These shades and like the rosy tones, pink shades, purple, the other darker shades, this cream shade is amazing. So I'm gonna, please don't mind my nails, they look crazy. Uh, let's do this one. So these are what those look like. Freaking gorgeous. Gorgeous. And they're so pigmented. Let me see if I could just swatch these. So this is what they look like. So nice. I freaking love this palette. Okay, next thing that I got, and I want to do a comparison video with the Wet n Wild Nude Awakening palette is this Blushed Nudes Maybelline palette. Um, I actually got this one first because I loved the rosy pinky tones and then I got this Wet n Wild palette after. I have played around with this palette and sadly this palette is trash. Like I am sorry Maybelline this, oh my god, look guys. I'm so mad I lost the receipt to this because I want to return it so bad. That's how bad it is. It's bad. Oh my god. They have similar shades. It's super cute. I love the rose gold packaging. But it's so bad. Like you can't even work with it. There's no pigmentation. It's just not it's not worth the money. And it was more expensive than the Wet n Wild palette. So it's like, girl, what are we doing? Alright, moving on, I finally got the NYX Glitter Primer so I can work with glitters and not use eyelash glue, like real ratchet, real hood style. But, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes when you just don't have the tools, you just don't have them. So, I got the NYX Glitter Primer. It says that you can use this for your lips and your eyes, so that's pretty dope. I can't wait to use this with the glitters that I have, so stay tuned for that. Next, I got um, two new mascaras. Actually, no, I got three new mascaras. Oh, here it is. So, I got two of the Revlon um, new mascaras, the green and the red cap. The red cap is the ultimate all-in-one. So, this is the all-in-one. And the green one is the super lengthening mascara. So, I got this as a double package at Big Lots for about $3.00. So I got both of these for three dollars. Um, honestly, the the smaller one I like for my lower lashes and thickening. See how small that brush is. And then the all-in-one, which I thought I was gonna like, I actually don't like it at all. It does not do anything for me. The wand is super fucking huge. Like, what is this? What? what what is that but it doesn't it doesn't do anything for me so whatever and then next I got the wet n wild max volume plus mascara it's waterproof and hydro hydro oh anyways I got this one this is actually a repurchase this is not new for me I loved 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 this mascara um, I don't love it as much now but I still like it so, and it's affordable. I think it's like $5. So, I got this and I've been using that. I got two new highlighters. Nope, I lied. Four new highlighters. Where's the other one? So, first things first. This one, I'm going to go from oldest to newest in terms of purchasing. Um, I got the Wet n Wild and Mega Go Highlighting Gold Bar, Gold Bar, Gold Bar Highlights, and I have that on my cheeks right now. I also have something else on top of this, which I will show you in a second, which is even more affordable than this. So this is limited edition. Um, it's a gold highlighting palette, highlighting bar. 
hopefully you guys can still find it and if you can't you can find something you can find something similar and if you do have it girl use this especially in the summertime this is going to be really nice so this is what it looks like really really nice gold this is I actually use it for the first time today so I'm going to swatch this for you so this is what that looks like super super pretty so I got that Next, I got the e.l.f. Moonlight Pearls palette. I mean, palette? What? That's what happens when you try to look cute and you don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I got the e.l.f. highlighting um, highlighter in Moonlight Pearl. So, I've, I've been actually on the hunt for this for a minute. Surprisingly, I couldn't find it. I didn't know if I was looking at eyeshadow or highlighting highlighter. So, I finally found it. So funny thing is, just like everyone has said, I don't know if you've heard it or not, but when you first get this, the texture is going to feel really, really dry. Like, you know, like my phone, that's how dry it is, my text messages, the non-existing ones. Um, it's going to feel super, super dry. So what I did was I took this eyebrow duo brush and I just scraped the top of it and yeah. Listen, this is going to snatch your wig, your brows, and your waist all at the same time. This is amazing. I cannot believe, I think this was $3. $3. $3. Three. Tres pesos. This is amazing. Like, so that's what this one looks like what I will say is if you're medium to dark skin tone I would use this with a light 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 hand because it's more it's more on the pearly white champagne side so when I first used it girl I went freaking in and I was like oh hold up this is not for my skin tone so I just used it on top of the gold bar but I used a very very light hand and I used a, a very thin um, fan brush just to lightly put it on so this is the highlight from elf it is freaking amazing like I want to put more on let's just do that let's, let's do it why not Oh, but you can't fan find your fan brush. Great. Fan brush, where are you? Fan brush. Hello. Alright, I'll just use this one. I use a thinner fan brush by Real Techniques, but I can't find it right now, so I'll just use this. Do a little of that. And oh Lord have mercy. Diana, you want some highlight too? Look at that. That is insane. Don't mind this big ass pimple right here that just wanted to pop up out of nowhere and say hi. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Do I need to say anything more? No. So moving on to the setting spray I got by e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Aqua. Aqua? aqua primer mist um i love this packaging i think it's so freaking cute the clear acrylic with the blue aqua goodness it's really really nice it's actually empty because i decided to make my own little body shimmer spray so i put it into another one but i did like it the only thing that i don't like just like everyone else if you haven't heard about this the spray on it is ridiculous like it feels like um it feels like when you just first buy a new um like hair spray before you flat iron it and it comes out it just spurts out at you like like someone just spit at you that's how it is 
So if anything, I would just put it into another spray bottle and use it like that. But I do like it. I like the smell. It's very fresh and it's supposed to be uh, hydrating. It's an aqua primer mist. So <laughs> yeah, I do like it. But the spray on this, Elf, we gonna have to work on that one. Just, just a little bit. I got two of the new pressed powders by Wet n Wild. I got the colors Warm Light and Warm Beige. This one broke. <laughs> it broke. It's shattered. Like, I don't even want to open it. So this I kind of use for, like, say if your foundation is a little bit too dark. I got Warm Light or to put under the... Or to put underneath the eyes. So this is that shade. And I'm not even going to open the other one because, girl, it's going to be on the floor. Next, I got two of the new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I was so happy that when I found this. I found these at Walgreens, I believe, and I did get like a little discount on it. These are $5.99 each. I cannot believe that Wet n Wild. I, first of all, I love Wet n Wild. I absolutely love Wet n Wild. I love their liquid lipsticks. I love their whole brand. Um, and they are cruelty free, so that's like a plus on top of that. So I got the shade Desert Beige, which is this one right here, and Peach Natural. Uh, to be honest, I don't know why your girl got Peach Natural because there is no way that I'm light medium or a cool tone. I am yellow. I'm yellow. Why did I get Peach? You know what it was? I was so excited that I didn't even give a fuck what, what shade that was. It could have been Lightest Light, Vanilla, Stark White, and I probably still would have gotten it. Um, I do have this on my face right now, and I do like it, so shout out to Wet n Wild. I love you guys. So next, I got the new um, CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream. I have been loving this. So I'm definitely going to be using this towards the summertime. Your girl is oily in the T-zone. God bless me. And just normal all around. So this definitely, I noticed that it does keep me a little bit more matte throughout the day. Um, the coverage is really nice. It's lightweight. I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing. So if you're new to makeup and you don't want like a crazy heavy duty foundation, definitely go try this out. You can just apply this with your fingers like a lotion. Just do a little dab like that and put it on, you know, smooth it out and this you're just all set. Like, I love it. You guys definitely need to try this. I got the new Jordana Sculpt and Go Creamy Contour Stick. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love this. <laughs> so sweet. I love this. I have cream contoured many, many, many times. But I feel like now it's become a part of my daily makeup routine, especially when you want your face to look really natural. Like just less powder and a little bit more creams and then just a light dusting of powder. This is amazing. It blends out like a freaking dream. I just use a little e.l.f. small stipple brush and I'll wet it. I'll just spritz it with some Fix Plus or whatever setting spray I have and just blend it out yo this is bomb it is just bomb like oh my god i didn't use it today but like look at that it's so pretty i love it love it moving back onto highlight i think i kind of missed it when i was on my highlight kick and i got blinded by this angel goodness on my face. I got the new Master Strobing Liquids. This is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. These are pretty new. I got these shades Light and Medium. Light 100 and 200 Medium. So I'm going to swatch these for you. And I do have something to say about this. Oh my god. Look at that. That is 100 light. 
crazy, crazy. And this is 200 medium. This one is more, it has like a peachy, peachy nude vibe. These are insane swatched, right? So, I brought 100 light with me to Florida and I did use it underneath my foundation. I just blended out with a beauty blender. But oddly enough, I didn't see anything afterwards. Like, it didn't intensify my highlight. It wasn't blinding me. It wasn't pussy stunting. It wasn't popping like I thought it was going to be. So, I am going to keep playing with these to let you guys know what it really is but so far I mean they're okay nothing crazy I am going to do a top best drugstore highlights coming soon so if you guys want to see that make sure to give me a thumbs up and I will let you guys know about these in that video if they're popping or not next I got a gel liner I actually don't have any gel liners this is my first gel liner this is the essence gel liner in the shade midnight in Paris it says it's a high precision high precision gel eyeliner and it's waterproof uh, oh excuse me what the like the first swatch okay after layering it it does look super black so I can dig it I can dig it Next, I did get the Skinny Tip, the Mega Slim, the Mega Slim Skinny Tip Eyeliner by Wet n Wild. This packaging is super cute. It's black and pink, two of my favorite colors. This is what it looks like. And then it's super, super thin. So that's what that looks like. What I did notice with this is that when you swatch it oh my god i don't think i'm gonna like this at all when you swatch it it's so liquidy that it spreads out into any any lines that you have so i'll bring you guys up close i don't know if you guys can see that it like i don't know i don't like it I haven't tried it out on my eyes, but just by it doing that and it's spreading out into the, like every line that I have on my hand, it's not a good sign, but I'm still going to try it. I'll give it a chance. Now, last but not least, I know this is like getting super long and if you're still here, thank you so much, but I got a shit ton of lip products. Like you guys do not understand. I love lip products so much, so, so, so much, so much. So. Let's see what I got in my bag of goodies. First, I got two of the new NYX lingerie liquid lipsticks. They did come out with the new shades. So these are the two new shades that I got. I got Cabaret Show, which is this. I'm, I will swatch it for you guys. This is Cabaret Show. And the other one is called French Made. So I am going to swatch this for you guys right now. Okay, so first I'm going to swatch Cabaret Show. And I'm going to do big swatches because ain't nobody got time to be doing cute little small swatches. Like, come on. So that is Cabaret Show. Super, super nice. It's like a... It's like a mauve purple brown. What? <laughs> I don't know, but you guys can tell like it has a little it has a little bit of pink, a little bit of purple. I don't know. Just just go swatch it yourself. The next one is called French Made. This one is more of a cool tone purple. Yeah. This is French Made down here. And this is Cabaret Show up here. So those shades are really, really nice. And hopefully you guys can see that. Next, I got two of 
two of the new Milani uh, liquid lipsticks, Amore Matte, Amore Matte Lip Creams. Um, they also came out with new shades. I mean, can we please stop? Just stop. There's too many. I don't want to buy them all. So I got the shades Precious, 11 Precious, and 19 Co Covet. Yeah, Covet. So these are the shades right here. Super, super cute. This is like a mauvey, purp uh, mauvey pink and a cool toned brown. I have worn the cool toned brown in my vlog, so wait for that. And this one I haven't worn, but I did swatch it and I absolutely love the color. It is so freaking pretty. So here they are. This is Covet and this is Precious. Next, I got another NYX Butter Gloss. These are absolutely one of my favorite gloss. Is one? Okay. These are ex ex These are absolutely one of my favorite lip glosses. This is what I have on my lips right now, and this is in the shade Tiramisu. So it's like, it's not like it's a pink. It's just, and it smells like heaven next I got I also got this mega cushion wet and wild soft matte lip cream I actually haven't had no I actually haven't heard anyone speak of these so I was like you know what why not let me just you know be the first one that I know of to try it out and I haven't worn it so you kind of just pop it out like this and it has a little sponge ball tip applicator like that and then I'm gonna swatch it for you so you kind of just squeeze it out like this and I'll swatch it um I don't know how I feel about the applicator like it's just weird dog it's just fucking weird and I don't like how it's swatching. It's kind of choppy. It's I don't know. And I don't like the color. So, so this is that color right there. And the shade is in Melon It Like It Is. What? What in wild? Melon It Like It Is. What does that mean? I don't know. But well, I don't like the color. Anyways. So, last but not least, and I'm absolutely done, I promise. I got the new shades of the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. I love these so much. I love Jordana Lip um, Liquid Lip. This shade is just life itself. Oh my god. I cannot. I cannot. Look at this. So that's Cinnamon Toast. Next is Buttercream Frosting. I have not worn this one. I just opened it. Oh my god, this is beautiful. So that's Buttercream Frosting. Next is Tiramisu. That's Tiramisu. Next is Rose Macaroon. I don't believe I've worn this one either. And last but not least is Molten Chocolate Cake. And gonna let you guys know something right now I love anything chocolate I'm chocolate obsessed chocolate cake chocolate ice cream chocolate dark chocolate milk chocolate <laughs> I love chocolate this is just so pretty molten chocolate cake so my loves that is it that is everything that I bought within the past two months I don't know about you guys but just filming this I'm so tired 
I'm out of breath, girl. Oh my god. So stay tuned for my next videos coming up. Like I said, I'm going to be doing the top best drugstore highlights that you need in your motherfucking life, okay? So stay tuned for that. And I do have a vlog coming up, my Miami slash birthday vlog. Um, I hope you guys like it. And thank you to all my new subscribers for joining. I am so thankful that you guys, you know, kept subscribing even though I haven't been posting. I'm so grateful and... Like I say before, I love when you guys leave me comments. I always say, please leave me comments down below. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and tell me guys, tell me what you want to see. I want to film videos that you guys want to see, no BS. Like, that's another thing why I haven't been filming. It's like, in my head, I'm like, I don't know what they want to see. I don't know if they want to see me at all. So, let me know down below what you guys want to see. And thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys in my next one. Mwah.